Hello, Frosty510 here, and we have the perfect setup here. We're on the hunt for a mutant, and we want to kill it before it transforms. So, there's two ways to go about it. You hit the perfect headshot, which there's a chance you hit the head and you don't get that perfect shot. You have to hit the topmost part of the head. It's, it can be very tricky, and I've reduced the accuracy on this gun for more critical damage. So there's another way to do it, a more reliable way. You go to Fury Mode, make it turn its back, and then charge, and one shot. Grab the next one, quickly, quick, 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 quick. Finish it. Oh, got it. And one more. No, that's just a shambler. Get out of the way. So you can go for the headshot. It's just, I found more consistent. If you go Fury Mode, you rush them. And bam, you get mutated hearts, which you can use for some great crafting combinations, and you get your challenge for killing them before they mutate, and you get kills of them, so you do both challenges. Win, 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 win. Um, where the best location to farm them is definitely here. So it is a mutated hotspot. Once you progress through the main quests, you beat all the main quests, then Bel Air is the district, the starting zone becomes a hotspot for them. Now, where can they spawn? You can get two here, you can sometimes get three. So do be careful, because they are dangerous. You can also get, you can get, you can't get one in that spot. Uh, out of the way, Shingle. You can get one spawning over here, in this zone. So it's standing here on its own. And you can also get a spawn here. Or here. Now, this can be random, so you can clear this area, come back, and they'll have one spawned right here. So just be careful. There's one other spot. I found, found it commonly... Well, not commonly. It rarely will spawn one here. Sometimes it's the one standing here. It's just actually very interesting. So let me just... Throw those two guys. Oh, did I miss that shot? No. Okay, good. Out of the way. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Where are these people going? Hunting rifle's good, but fury mode is better. Again, my build is, my whole skill thing is all around fury and doing additional damage because I've got carnage on and I've got a whole autophage set up around doing damage and fury. So, but that said, any fury mode should be able to kill them in their unmutated form when they're not big. You should be able to get close to them. Close enough to get that big charged headshot. And don't give them a chance to mutate. It's interesting how close you can get while in fury mode compared to just running up to them and then that they, they just transform. So yeah, hopefully this helps and you're doing the challenge for killing them before they mutate. Uh, was it combat, combat challenge? I always forget which one it is. Because I, I was stuck on it for ages. Um, which one is it? Yeah, slay the mutators before they mutate. For the no time to grow challenge. Yeah, hopefully this helps. This helped me a lot. Just, you know, trial and error. There's a couple other spots where mutators spawn, but this one's just so easy to get to. So easy, it's straight away, and you can get multiple. I've gotten up to five in one run. And then, in order to recycle the run, all you have to do, go back in the house, fast travel to any location. It doesn't matter which one, but I prefer to go to Venice Beach, and then, you know, you go to the trader, buy some more ammo. So if I'm running low on ammo, and then just come back, and then they respawn. Daytime is better than nighttime, I can tell you. Just because nighttime, it's harder to see because it's nighttime. <laughs> and for me and my shooting, I found it much harder. But that said, Fury Mode, easier. It, you just have to be somewhat mindful that they will transform and they'll see you. And it's you just really want to approach them with their back turned if you can. Otherwise, though, just Fury bum rush them and you should be fine. Uh, yeah. You can also run into some butchers here and there. 
and that sort of helps with the butcher farming. But there's better spots for butchers, so I'm not worried about that. This has been Frosty510. Leave a comment, tell them what you think. Some of the challenges you found the hardest to complete. I'm still going. <laughs> but I know how to do most of them. It's just survival one's going to take me a while. But yeah. Um, like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.